Hello and welcome to this vlog post. I'm one woman audiobook production company, Rebecca McKernan, actor and writer, and today I'll be sharing with you mm, the latest in last year's new releases. Um, this is uh, a new author. Uh, I haven't worked with her before. Her name is Eve Newton. She's not a new author. She's a new author to me. <laughs> and this is her Get Knotted Amigaverse, so it's very raunchy. Um, uh, maybe be considered to be a little bit triggering because initially uh, there are themes of abduction so I'm just going to put that out there right now but it is not ultimately a triggering book um, and includes a very happy ending. <laughs> so this is book two in the series and it's called Not a Tie. Uh, without further ado I shall read to you the back material. Being snatched off the street should be scary right? wrong. I'm an Amiga with a strong instinct a strong instinct to make the best of a bad situation. Armed with my designer handbag full of junk and the brooding hot alpha who's crossed over to my side, he ensures my safety by handing me over to his estranged brother's pack. I quickly learn I can trust them when they make a generous gesture. But I'm not a tie between brothers and I make sure this situation works in my favour. A light-hearted, fun, romantic story with a loyal Amiga and her pack of adoring alphas. Um, I'm aware that this might this might not be the first point of thought for somebody in a conventional monogamous relationship, but this is, um, I guess, a polyamorous world. Uh, one female and a pack of five adoring males. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, um, yeah, well, I mean, I, I can imagine it's many, cups, many, many, many people's cups of tea. <laughs> My mum might be watching this. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> and instead, I will read to you the first few pages of the first chapter. This is told from multiple perspectives. Um, and the first one is rains. Three months ago, are you absolutely sure about this rain? Dr. Fredericks asks me for the third time. Yes, I state, with as much finality as I can muster. I'm not that great at being assertive, but I do try now and again when it suits me. Her steely grey eyes pierce mine, searching them, looking for signs of, well, I don't really know, the possibility that I'm going to take the heat suppressants I'm after and sell them on the black market? Not likely. I want them for me. I'm three months away from my 21st birthday, and I'll be damned if I'm going into my first heat unmated. Not a chance in hell. I have enough alphas sniffing around me as it is, trying to mate with me, but none of them float my boat. That comes with the territory when you're wealthy, pretty, and of course, the big one, unmated. Even if I manage to find a pack I like in the next three months, no way am I risking getting pregnant so soon. Not that I don't want kids, I do. But I want to know my pack first. You know you can only use them for six months and then you need to come off them for three months. So you must time this correctly if you are adamant about this course. I know and I am. I cross my arms over my chest, hopefully to show her I mean business. She is my dad's personal physician and has been for as long as I've been alive, if not longer. She is elderly, heavy set, with grey hair and a constitution that usually scares the knickers off me. Not today, Rain. Stay your course. I will have to seek your father's approval, of course, she says as a test. I know it's a test. I can see it in her eyes. Go ahead, I say coolly. He knows I'm here. The surprise in her eyes makes me want the surprise in her eyes makes me want to giggle. She so wasn't expecting that, the old twat. Really, she says in a in such a derogatory tone, I nearly flinch. Well, in that case, get on the scales. I blink and swallow. Okay, this was the part I wasn't looking forward to. I avoid scales like the plague. I'm five foot one, fairly large breasted, with thighs that meet in the middle. To say I'm a bit curvy is definitely accurate. I'm not huge, but I'm not super skinny either. I dress to accentuate my assets with the help of a personal shopper, but scales, they don't lie to you. If I was taller, I'd be happy with my body, but I'm so fucking short it makes me cringe. I slip my skyscraper heels off, plus the lightweight black cardigan, leaving me in my floaty black trousers and vest top. 
I take off the feminine gold Rolex from my left wrist and place it carefully on the desk of this grey office that matches the dour doctor to a T. Then I remove the gold bangle from my other wrist, along with the pretty aquamarine and platinum ring that matches my eyes and that I wear on the middle finger of my right hand. I set them down and lick my lips. Dr. Fredericks is sitting back, her arms crossed, watching this with amusement. Horrid old cow. She probably knew I had a phobia about this. Clearing my throat and throwing my head back so my light brown hair bounces across my shoulders in waves, I walk the two paces to the big doctor's scales and step on. Sucking in my stomach like that's going to help, I close my eyes, not wanting to see what it says. She stands up and moves in next to me. Hmm, she murmurs. I crack an eye to see her peering down at the scales, bent over like, like she needs to get closer to read what it says. Then she straightens up and goes back to her desk to type it into her computer. Hmm. 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 What the fuck does hmm mean? Everything okay? I croak out, needing to know, but stepping off the scales quickly so I don't look down. I hear the needle fire back to zero and wince. Fine, she says. A little heavy for your height, but we can't all be supermodels, can we? She gives me a superior glare that grates on my last nerve. No, we can't, as I'm sure you know yourself. Burn, witch, burn. She gives me a sneer and then goes back to tapping into her computer. My hands are shaking with the small confrontation. I'm a people pleaser, mostly. I like to see people smile and be happy with me. But the old bat has definitely rubbed this Amiga up the wrong way. I reach for the jewellery and replace it with trembling fingers. Slipping my shoes and cardi back on, she sets the prescription printing and whisks it off when it and whisks it off when it's done. Six months supply. If you are still hell bent on suppressing your heat in half a year, don't come back until three months after. I won't help you. She holds the small green piece of paper between us like it contains the plague. I snatch it from her, bending down to grab my Michael Kors handbag. Shoving the prescription inside, I give her a curt nod and a tight-lipped smile. Thanks, I murmur, and disappear as quickly as I can from her office before she judges me any more. I know she's thinking I'm a raging slut who just wants to sleep around, but that isn't the case. I've had a couple, okay, three or four, sexual partners so far. I'm picky. I won't fall into bed with just anyone. A pretty face doesn't cut it. I want to laugh, be treated like a princess, and have them care about me. In a nutshell, I want to be loved, and I want to love back. Stepping out into the warm spring morning, I take, in the, I take in the azure cloudless sky and the smell of the flowers in the big round flower bed outside the, outside the doctor's office. A beautiful sweet aroma that fills my senses up and makes me smile. The perfect purple and yellow pansies are pretty and it washes away the last of my anxiety from this appointment. Walking down the street to spring in my step, I make my way to the pharmacy. A few minutes later, after the lovely beta female chemist gave me an understanding expression and smile, which made me feel better about the way the doctor treated me, I click the remote key to my black Porsche 911 and slip inside. Kicking off my, kicking off my heels, I start the engine and drive away with my bare feet back to the enormous country estate that I call home. So that's a little taste. That was actually the first chapter of Eve Newton's uh, Get Knotted sorry, not a tie from the Get Knotted Amigaverse. You can listen to the whole cheeky, raunchy book on Audible, Amazon and iTunes. And you can find more of me at RebeccaMcKernan.com. Thank you for listening. Oh, by the way, I do have some free codes for that book. If you want any, give me a shout um, and I can send some your way. Thank you again. And I'll be back with you soon. Mwah.